unity, duty, destiny. These are the bionicle symbols we've lived for and known about all through the years. But last year, in 2008, when Matanui had awakened, Malkuto Teradax sent him out of his own universe and was banished. Trapped inside the Kanohi Ignaika, shot out into space, Matanui was there, wandering the stars in the mask. Now we must forget about the past and what we know. Because now, in 2009, a new story begins. Now the story takes place on a planet called Bara Magna. Bara Magna. A planet. A desert wasteland. Inhabited by many living beings. They are called Glatorians. And they're a gori. The gori live in many tribes, and each tribe has its own agori with a glitorian. What do the glitorian do? They help the gori live on. As the gori maintain businesses and keep everything well in order, the six tribes are here. In the arena, Glatorian fight each other to resolve disputes between each village. If one wants a water, but the other wants it too, then they have to have the Glatorian fight over it to choose. Welcome to Bara Magna. Sperix, an Agori villager in the settlement of Tajun. Berix is a collector, scouring the desert and its ruins for treasures, scrap metal, old armor and weapons, or whatever he might come across. There's only one problem with being a collector on Bara Magna. Sometimes you find things you don't want. And sometimes they find you. Hands over, you lose. Ah! You must be tired of living, Glatorian. No. Just tired of bone hunters like you. Leave the Agori alone and move along. Heh. <laughs> One lone fighter. Still with sand in his ears. Challenging a bone hunter. Did the suns get you? Or are you just stupid? Not sunstruck. Not stupid. Just a traveler. One thing though. I never travel alone. I said block him, not get trampled by his mount. He'll be back with friends. We should keep moving. Thanks for the rescue, but I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't worry, we did this one for fun. Speak for yourself, I don't fight for free. Glatorians fight for the villagers that hire us, so they don't have to fight each other. But we don't have to charge to save a life. What are you doing so far away from Tachun? Collecting bits of old armor. I need better armor if I'm gonna fight in the arena someday. You need more than that, Sanfli. You need... Hold on. Company! They are called Volrocks. More than 100,000 years ago, they were a race of proud warriors. Now, they are primitive, near beasts who stalk the wastelands of Bara Magna. Fast, dangerous, and they don't take prisoners. Hungry? Or just angry, you think? Oh, probably both. It's when your Borocks need a reason. Good point. What was that? They're leaving. Just when I was starting to enjoy this. It was that Clitorian over there. I think he signaled them. Who is that? That's Malin, exiled from Vulcanus for his crimes in the arena. Looks like he's made some new friends. Not our problem. We're doing Vulcanus. Remember? This is the Glatorian's destination, a fiery village deep in the desert of Bara Magna. 
Rani, elder of the village of Volcanes, is in the middle of a less than friendly chat with Metos, recruiter and trainer of the Torian. But we need another fire now that mountain's gone. The scroll are claiming the Flingar just must meet their challenge. Good goes high and don't spring from the sand. And besides, no one wants to work for you right now. Find the place else to watch for. The spot's mine. I said move. Wait, sir. Yes, sir. Moving now. You're fighting a scrap? There's an oasis. The people of Tessaria says it belongs to them. The scroll says it's theirs. This fight decides who gets it. You honor our arena with your combat. May your swords and shields preserve the peace. Fall. You will fall. Not. Ugh. Today. Surrender. And I'll let you live. If I surrender, I have nothing to live for. But if you want to give up... Strong conceit. You have to admit, for jungle type, he's got guts. Right. And I think we may be seeing them soon. Now, we start again. Not good. You, Scroll, have been challenging for everything of any worth for months now. You would leave the other villages with nothing. We fight. We win. We take. We are Scroll. Match over. Now, be defeated. Defeated. What? You said it. The match is over. Now get out of Vulcanus or fight us all. I have what he came for. Nice, you almost lasted three minutes. That's a new record. I lost, and Tessaria needed that water. Did the scroll cheat? That's the scary part. He didn't. Why are we here? Scroll not in the shadows. Tell Tuma a trade caravan leaves from Tezun in a week's time. If the Bone Hunters raid it, Tezun goes hungry this season. Bone Hunters? What's the even care with those sounds one do? Let me explain. If Tezun has no food, they will have to challenge others for it. And if they lose, which they will, they will be easy prey for your people. Our people. You are not one of us. Do not pretend you are. Relay the message. Go, before we are seen together. Barracks, what are you doing out here? Just walking and wishing and wondering what the future would bring. You will speak of this in front of one of our captured Gore villagers, then accidentally let him escape. As soon as he reaches the open desert, he will be captured by the Bone Hunters, and he will tell them all they know is about the caravan while they can. Then the Bone Hunters will act on what they know, and will not battle for us. But the time is coming, warrior, when we will not need to act through others. Soon we scrawl will shed our skins like the sand dragons, and be revealed for what we are. Conquerors! Rulers! We will attack! We will win! And Bora Magna will be ours. Your voice was all